photography if we see that with that airline in the shot as well. So we are clear. So we are going to launch Keith's rocket, the Aero B-170 and the H-180. Clear sky, clear range. We are launching in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Wow, another four closure failure. Good thing I didn't go anywhere. Now my heart beats fast like that. Let's see if that um, the motor blew. You know when, when you get it out? Huh? Yeah, it's hot right now. So. Okay, there's no fire, so we're clear. Still in there. Still B-170 and the H-180. Clear sky. Clear range. We are launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Nice. <laughs> All right, here's my Aero B-170. It had a strange flight on Saturday. Um, it didn't go as planned. I don't know what really happened. What was the cause? Here's the motor casing. It, some people thought that the forward closure went bad or I built the motor wrong, which I know I didn't. I built the motor right. I don't know what could have happened. But this payload section does not have a hole drilled in it. And I was thinking it might have been drag separation. The RSO at the launch mentioned it, and I asked, should I go in and drill the hole? He said, no, it should be fine. But I don't know the real cause of what made this thing go haywire. But it's not damaged that bad, so uh, the ring rolled away. So it should be ready to fly in the fall once everything calm gets cooler again. Here's what happened to the edges of it. Got a little charred and a little dented. That's where the camera goes. Parachute. So, here's the Aero B. Minor damage. Should be ready to file. I'll get it. I'll get it all fixed up. I'll drill a hole in the payload section, and we'll go from there. <laughs>